Hi guys, and welcome back to this Model Engineers Workshop. Today in the workshop, part three, to make three parts. Hi guys, I'm the chef. Today, we're gonna to get this brake, this, in this video today, we're gonna to get this bloody brake shaft finished. <laughs> it's a longer job than I thought. There's all the bits to put together and all the holes to drill. It wasn't an easy job. Not for me, I mean, I'm, as I say, chef by trade, model engineer by hobby. Now, as you can see, I've already got the roll pins cross drilled, but how did I get there? Right, well, I had the whole thing set up in the frames, which are over there, and uh, the bearings and everything from the last video were in place, put everything together, tightened up the grub screws. So you can see I've got grub screws there and there, there and there, three of them. Lined everything up, made sure it was all, these are these two at least are at 90 degrees or give or take to each other. These two are as close as I can get them. Uh, I made a mark on the shaft itself when everything was in the frame so that I could put the bearings in the right place and then still see that when these are all pushed up tight. So I had a mark here and a mark here. Uh, set everything up again, left a little bit of play, maybe half a mil, and uh, tightened the grub screws down. And I'm now going to get and then I put this in the mill vise on a packing piece and uh, started to center up. You've seen me do that before, so I wasn't going to record that. So it was in the vise like this, these three pins pointing up. And then I was able to drill, drill through, drill through, put, the, put these two pins in and keep them in register and then do that one. But before I start taking this apart, which is the next job, let's jump over to an, uh, another section in this video. And you'll see me drilling and doing this very last one here. All right, guys, let's get over to it. Okay, guys, so as you can see, brake shaft's in the milling vise. I've got a little piece of scrap underneath to act as a support, so it's not all the way down. Center drill, I've centered up on the center of the shaft. Just got this at 45 degrees this way. I've already drilled the other two, as you can see over here, I've just got the roll pins in temporarily at the moment, because I'm gonna have to yank them out shortly so we can shape the, the actual Put the shape on the brake arms as well. So, order, oh, order operations, center drill, fairly deep, little three millimeter drill all the way through. That's basically going peck, 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 because you don't want this drill to jam there full of chips and uh, and break off. So he's hoping I'm going to use a little bit of cool, a bit of the old um, cutting liquid while I'm doing it. As you can see, like I said before, Got the bearings i've spaced them out according to the marks i made on the shaft itself so we know that they're in the right place i have allowed for about half a mil end float once they're in the frames let's hope i get it right uh and i'm going to record this uh, in real time it doesn't take long so here goes
we go guys, so that's us through. Just let me grab a, the third roll pin. There we are. Let's just clean that off. Get the chips off away, the chips. Let's take that drill out. Let's be putting that in there. Just needs a little bit of push. Yep, that'll do it. It's in. Great stuff. Easy as that. All right, guys. I'll stop that video, this part of the section, this section of the video there, and I'll bring you back when we're on the bench. So there we go. Now you've seen the drilling operation for the, ro the roll pins. As you can see, I've got one here, one here, and one there. So all three are in. The bare ends are back in place. This is just temporary. I've got to whip it out again in a second. As you can see, just the tiniest little bit of float in there, a little bit of end play, so it's nice and free. There we go. I haven't got that one roll pin down fully yet, so it's still a little wobbly. But uh, there we go. I'm quite happy with that. Everything looks nice and square. Right. Uh, I've just got to pull this apart again. Take the burrs off the bottom hut of the holder I broke through on all three arms. And so I think now I'm going to get these blued up so I can mark them up. When that's set, I'll get some scribe lines on there and uh, we'll get this over onto the belt linisher and give, start giving these a try and get them uh, off to shape. So, but this, this video is going to be the end. Part three. Whoopee. I couldn't be happier myself. Absolutely great. Okay. Right. Bring you back in a tick, guys. Right. So. Take the brake shaft apart, bearings over there in the frames. Here's the brake shaft. Now see the holes. One, two, three. So this is the actual arm that operates them. These are the two arms that this, so this arm goes up into the cab. And this one actually got these two holes go along to the brakes themselves. As you can see, I've now blued all three. Yep. That's done. So now what we're going to do, right? Well, this is a little button I made a couple of videos ago. That's a six millimeter shaft. This is a 12 millimeter button. So we're going to put that into the hole. Nice fit. We're going to use that to hopefully draw a round end that I can see. But when I'm on, when I'm grinding it on the belt linisher, let's have a quick look. Yep, there you go. Put that back in. Next job, little ruler. Press that up against there and there. Not giving me much metal to hold on to, admittedly. Oops, make sure that doesn't go under there, because I want that. And then we will just... Mind the thumbnail. Get a line. And get a line. Right, so take that out. There you can see, how did that move maybe? Drag it underneath it, and that looks a little bit, well, looks about right, yep. Yeah. Hold that down as well, let's have a look. No, nope, that line is good. I thought it was a little bit inside, but anyway. Right, so belt linisher, take all that off. Take this off, take that end off, take this off. Right, I've got that one and that one to mark up, and uh, I'll bring you back at the belt linisher. Okay, over at the belt linisher, one of the arms in my hand. So, take off these corners first, take it down to the size of the bush, and now we're going to, so we're going to be doing this. For that corner, flip it round, do that. I've got a little pot of water there to cool things down, so it's going to get bloody hot. Then we're going to slowly start taking that away as well. Get it down to that line there. And then I'll do this side, and then all I have to do is just round off the top end. Right, it's going to get noisy, guys. I'm not going to show it all. I'll just show me it's getting started. Uh, probably, that, probably go as far as until I burn my fingers. Right, here we go.
This is going to take a long time, so I'm going to pause it here, stop it here, and when I get them all done, I'll bring you back. Right, oh guys, so that was a fun hour and a bit on the belt linisher. So as you can see now, they're all to shape and rounded off. I've just taken a little file to them as well, just to take off the sharp edges. Put the grub screws back in. Where are they? There, there, there and there. So I'll just get this all back onto the brake shaft and in place, and I'll tick, bring you back and show you what it all looks like when it's finished. Right, there was a tick, guys. Back in a second. There we go. So all back in the frames. Nice and easy movement. This goes up to the brake handle in the loco. These go further down the locomotive towards the rest of the brake gear. And as this pulls upward, don't forget, up at the moment is, uh, up at the moment is down, and down is up. So as this pulls this way, it will move all the brake rigging towards the front of the locomotive. So putting the brakes on, reverse this process, it will pull them back, take the brakes off. Right, there we go, guys. Uh, yeah, give us a second. Right, guys, that's it. Finally, we've got the brake arms finished. A bit more work than I was expecting it to be. Uh, not only is it a case of making three brake arms, you've got to make the brake shaft and two, two bearings to go with it and drill and tap for the grub screws and cross drill for the roll pins. But that job's done. So those are three more bits. Well, the brake arms are three more bits to go off with the rest of it when it all goes to the grip blasters, which should be very soon now, I hope, anyway. Uh, starting to get a bit of flash rush, rush blah, blah, try, starting to get a bit of flash rust going down on the bits that I've machined that this workshop's in a garage. Uh, most of the time it's quite warm, some of the time it's a little bit cold, but obviously it's a little bit humid and moist here. So there's a bit of flash rust coming on, so I'd like to really get these frames into the primer. All right, guys, that's it for this. I'll call it a series. It's three, four, five parts, probably, if you put them all together. Uh, uh, it's a hobby. I take my time. I'm not doing this professionally. So I'm going to call this video to a close by saying, as I usually do, if you can find it in your heart and soul to give me a like, a subscribe, and maybe even hit the bell. Even if you're a watcher, please subscribe. We've just turned 500 uh, as I'm recording this. Anyway, it was 500 on Friday and today's Sunday. Right, guys. So this is the Chef signing out, and I'll see you again soon.